Like, hey everybody, we're live now. <laughs> okay. I don't know if you heard what Io just said, but no worries if you did. Um, it takes people a second to log on anyway. They get a little notification. Can I not be on this thing? This crap? Oh, sure. Move around. Yeah, we can move around the cameras. Uh, anyone, anyway, everyone going to get yourself set up. We're going to start here in a couple of minutes here. Well, now you're not. I think I'm going over there. Oh, I'll move this one. Okay, I'll move this one over. So let me just, we're just going to get everything set up here. Uh, Go ahead and get yourself set up. Go ahead and grab your, your mat. Grab some water if you like. Find a nice spot in your home. <laughs> get Io in the frame here. You can see the beautiful postures. Doctor, I'll be leading you through class today. <laughs> We're super excited for everyone joining us. To move the whole thing. Yeah, move the whole thing. Definitely put down more the modifications. More of the advanced postures. I love some advanced postures. I'm going to fall out. Great. Okay. Thanks for joining us, you guys. Let's just see if we have anyone coming in. For everyone watching us live, for everyone watching us at a later date, thank you, thank you. Super excited to have you here today. All right, we've got a 75 minute class for you today, our classic Be Hot class. 26 postures to breathing exercises, and we start standing. You come to the center of your mat, toes and heels touching. Ground yourself here, stand tall. Inhale, chest up, relax your shoulders down and back. And let's begin. Interlace your fingers underneath your chin, thumbs touching your throat. Exhale a little bit and begin. Inhale through your nose, elbows float up, spine stretches up, fill your lungs up and hold and exhale. Head back, mouth open, elbows reach towards the front wall, elbows touch and inhale. Slowly drop that chin down against your knuckles and gazes forward. Your elbows float up towards the ceiling and exhale gently allow that head to drop back your elbows come forward your palms your wrists your forearms and your elbows come to touch and inhale through your nose nice deep breath here and exhale mouth open making a ha sound like you're fogging up a window pane and inhale Feel your chest rising, rib cage expanding out and up, and exhale. Squeeze your chest using your arms here. Inhale. Nothing forced, shoulders relax down, and exhale. Elbows don't be Come below your shoulder line and they're parallel to the floor and they touch and inhale. Traction your spine up and exhale. Spine stays straight. Shoulder blades separate here. Elbows come to touch and inhale. Last breath for a set. And exhale. Let it all go and change. Arms down by your side. Wiggle those shoulders around a little bit. Take a couple of normal breaths. We'll do it again. Interlace your fingers, maybe swap the cross underneath your chin. Thumbs are touching your throat. And begin. Inhale through your nose. And exhale through your mouth. And inhale for six, five, four, three, two.
two and one, and exhale for six, five, four, three, two and one, pause, and inhale. Push down through your heels, strengthen your legs, and exhale. <sighs> Bellies toned, shoulders relaxed. Inhale. Engage your core. And exhale. Oh. Inhale. Fill those lungs up all the way. And exhale. <sighs> Empty those lungs. Every last drop of air. Inhale, last breath here. Make it the biggest breath of your day. And exhale. <sighs> Let all those stresses, anxieties, and worries go. And change. Arms by your side. Turn to normal, steady breathing. Inhale and exhale only through your nose for the rest of the class. Let's see. Okay. And we'll go ahead and get started with our warm-up. Starting with half moon. Inhale your arms up over your head. Interlace your fingers, release your index fingers, lock out your arms by your ears, lengthen up, stretch up, straight spine. And now exhale, bend your upper body to the right and left a couple times. Go in both directions like windshield wipers here. Get your hips involved a little bit. You can do little circles with your body too if you'd like. Loosening up our spine here. It's Monday. See what our body gives us this week. All right, then come back up to center when you're ready. All right. Inhale, lengthen up out of your waist and exhale, bend your upper body to your right. Your hips go left. And just breathe into it here. Relax those shoulders down. Think about lengthening up and over, tractioning your spine up, create more extension here. Nice deep breaths. Use your right arm to pull that left up and over to feel that stretch all on the left side of your body here. Your ankles to your fingertips all along that side here. Lift your chest, lean back a little bit, maybe point those fingers to the back corner of the room. And adjust your armpits and your hips here so they're square facing forward. So maybe bring that left hip forward, maybe bring that right armpit forward. It's like you're squeezed between two panes of glass here. Keep your nice steady breathing. Inhale, lengthen up and exhale over one more place and change. Inhale, back up to center. Reset. Inhale, lengthen up and exhale over to the left. Hips go right. Just breathe into this here. Relax those shoulders down. Ground yourself with your feet. Engage your quads. Engage your core. Lift up. Chin up away from your throat. Open up your throat for breathing here. Your arms are straight. The grip is strong. And you're using your left arm this time to pull the right up and over. Doing that stretch all along the right side body this time. Stretching out those obliques, extending your spine, creating length here. With every inhale breath, you get more length and strength. With every exhale, you get a little bit more depth and flexibility. One more place. And change. Inhale back up to center. All right, our first back then. Drop your head back all the way. Shake it out a couple of times. Relax it. Now strengthen your arms again, straight arms, reach up and back. Try to get those arms back by your ears, lift your chest and relax back, go back, look back, arms and shoulders, relax back, your stomach, hips and thighs, come forward, shift the weight back into your heels, lift your chest and then relax it back, look towards the back wall, keep breathing, reach with your arms. One more place. And change. Inhale, come back. 
and exhale, hinge forward, bend your knees if you need to. Give it a first little warm up here, a little freestyle, whatever you'd like to do. You can bend your knees, loosen up those hips, or you can squat down, you can do some lunges, whatever feels good for you today. Open up those hips. Squats. Hope everyone's feeling good on this Monday. Start to the work week again if you're working from home. I know it feels a little different being out of the routine. Hopefully this gets you back grounded. Nice little moving meditation we're going to do here. All right, we are all loosened up and warmed up. Come back, toes and heels together, touching. Bend your knees, bring your upper body and your lower body, and reach around and scoop up those heels from behind. Or your calves, anywhere along the back sides of your legs, your palms face forward, your thumbs are up, your pinkies are touching. Drop your head and now lift those hips up. Enjoy the stretch. You can keep that compression. You don't need to feel your legs completely straight. It's more important to keep that compression on your chest, on your knees, your stomach, on your thighs, to get that stretch all along your backside body, your legs, and into your back, into your spine here. Try to bring your elbows closer together, a nice tight grip. Relax that head completely down by your shins, shift the way forward into your toes. Lift your hips and change. Arms out in front of you, palms together, inhale, come up. And exhale your arms down by your side and breathe. Nice steady breathing here. Let your chest rise and fall. And we're going to do it again. Second set, half the time. Inhale, arms up. Palm stretch. Interlace your fingers. Release those index fingers. Maybe swap the grip. Lock out your arms by your ears. Inhale, lengthen up out of your waist. And exhale, hips left, body right. Maybe go right to where you left off in the first set, if you're feeling flexible today. Really lengthen up out of your spine. The extension is more important than the depth here. Feel yourself extending and lengthening through both sides of your abdomen here. Toning your core. One more place. Inhale for length. Exhale for depth. And change. Back up to center. Inhale, lengthen up, chest up, exhale, left hips, right. And breathe into this here. Want to make any adjustments you might need? Make sure you're looking forward, chest is forward. Maybe point those fingertips to the back corner of the room. Keep breathing here. Inhale, lengthen up for strength and exhale. Deepen the stretch and change. Inhale, come back up to center. All right, second back bend. Really reach up, stretch up with those arms, lift your chest, relax your head back and lean back, go back. Try to bring those arms back towards your head. <laughs> reach up with your arms, lift your chest, relax back, go back, lean back. Hips forward, lift your chest, feel it between your shoulder blades here, your thoracic spine, lift the chest, inhale, and exhale, a little bit more depth, and change, inhale, come back, exhale, hinge forward, bend those knees, and come on down, second little freestyle warm up here, whatever you didn't get on the first side, go to get here. Squat. Let's see who is not watching. Hey, Lauren. Hello, everyone. Thanks for joining. All right. Just any wiggles and shimmies and shakes you need to get out. Hanging rag We get back in force. We're just. Cool diagnostic, seeing our body's feeling today. We're still warming up. All right, hands to feet again. So bring those toes and those heels back together, bend those knees, chest on 
your knees, stomach on your thighs, reach around, scoop up those heels, drop your head, and lift your hips. Try to bring your elbows close together, really pull your upper body down using your bicep strength here. Tone your belly to help release that lower back here. Feel that nice hamstring stretch, that nice back of your leg stretch into your calves. Shift the weight a little bit forward, see if you feel the stretch a little bit differently here. Deep breathing, eyes are open. Lift those hips one more place and change. Arms are in front of you, palms touch, and you'll come up. And exhale your arms down by your side. Breathe here. Beautiful start to class. Move right along with our rest of our warm-up posture, starting with awkward three-part chair pose. Right foot steps out to the right. Hip width distance apart. Between, you can measure two fists between your toes and your heels and come on back up. Now inhale your arms up in line with your shoulders, parallel with the floor, palms are down. And now exhale, sit down and back. To the level of a chair, shift the weight back into your heels. And if you finish forward to get into it, now lift your chest, roll your shoulders back and down. Get your back straight here. Engage your core, belly button to tailbone. Sit down a little bit lower. Keep breathing. Find your balance here. And change. Push up to your heels. Second part, come up onto your tiptoes as high as you can. Maybe get your balance here. Maybe just work on this today. Or if you're ready, bend your knees. Think about keeping the weight in the ball of your foot. Keep your spine straight to the back wall. Stop wherever you need to or bring, come all the way down so your thighs are parallel to the floor. Hold it here. Heels stay as high as you can and change. Inhale, come back up. Heels come down. Third part, come up on your heels just a little bit. Squeeze those knees and inner thighs together slowly start to come down sliding down that back while your spine is straight you're not pitching forward or back squeeze those knees together if your knees hurt stop wherever you need to but if you come all the way down your hips are above your heels you're hovering just above them you're engaging your core keep breathing come up one inch and then come all the way back up slow with control heels down arms down by your side Warming up all the major muscles of our arms and our legs here. Second set. Step out into that footprint. Measure if you'd like. Arms up. Really engage your arms here, your biceps and your triceps the entire time. Inhale, lengthen up. Exhale, sit down and back. Shift the weight back into your heels. Sitting down low to the level of a chair that's just too far behind you. Lift your chest, relax your shoulders back, engage your arms. Think about splitting the mat sideways from right to left with your feet to really engage every muscle in your leg here. And change. Push up with your heels. Second part, come up on your tiptoes. High as you can. Keep those heels high, parallel to the front wall in front of you the entire time. Bend your knees. Keep those heels high. Think about bringing the weight in between you and the ball of your foot towards the big toe. Hold it here. Find your balance and change. Come on back up. Heels come down. Third part. Heels up a little. Squeeze those knees. Squeeze those inner thighs and slowly come down for 10, 9, 8, 7, Six, five, four, three, two, and one, and hold it here at the bottom with control. Use that core, use those inner thigh muscles. And now come back up for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Feet back together, arms by your side. You shake it out a little if you like. <laughs> All right. Eagle pose, working our joints. 
Inhale your arms up overhead, palms touch. Exhale, swing your right arm under your left, right elbow under left elbow, cross your wrist, palms in prayer, maybe interlace them a couple of times if that helps. Then you grab your opposite shoulders, just open up those shoulder blades here. Now exhale, sit down low. Bring your right leg up and over that left knee corner, point those toes and find your balance here. Squeeze everything in tight. Lift your chest up. Shift the weight into your heels and sit down a little bit lower. Find your balance. And change. Inhale, come up, unwind. Arms up, palms touch. Other side, exhale, swing your left arm under your right, cross your wrist, palms in prayer. Bring those elbows down low. Open up those shoulder blades. Now sit down low, stay low. Left leg up and over the right. Point those toes. Maybe get that calf wrap if you would like. Point those toes down to the ankles if you have to. Use your, you know, you can use your toes for a little kickstand if you'd like. Try to squeeze those shins together so there's no gap between them. Sit down lower. Lift your chest. And change. Inhale, come up, unwind, arms up, palms touch right into the second set. Exhale, swing the right arm under the left. And interlace those fingers, try to get a nice tight grip here, try to get those elbows down low, palms in prayer. Exhale, sit down low. Weight into your heels. Inhale, lift the right leg up and over. Really try to get a high cross, high up your thigh here. Maybe get that toe wrap if you can. Lift your chest. Sit down low. Try to get everything lined up here. You want your shoulders level and square. You want your hips level and square. Deep breathing. And change. Inhale, come up, unwind, arms up, palms touch. Exhale, left under right. Lean forward if that helps you get into it a little bit more. Elbows down low. Sit down low. Stay low. Left leg high up, over, and around. Maybe get that wrap around your calf. And try to keep those hips level if you do, and square. Try to get your wrists, your elbows, your knees, and your ankles all in one line here underneath your nose. Elbows down lower, eventually those fingertips down below your nose. Find your eagle-eye focus. And change, inhale, come up. Unwind, arms up, palms touch. And exhale, your arms down by your side. Nice deep breath here. And we'll take a little break. Only official little break we have here. Take a break whenever you might need to throughout the rest of the class, of course. Take a sip of water whenever you need it. And take it easy on yourself, especially if you're not in the heat. It's just yoga. It's just a yoga practice. Every time we come onto our mats, we're just seeing what our body can do for us today, seeing what strength we can build through our own expression of each posture. So we're going to move right along with our balancing series, starting with standing head to knee. So inhale, bring your right leg up, thigh parallel to the floor, and we're in it for a minute. So you can stay here with your arms by your side, you can grab your shin for a little bit more stability, or if you're strong and stable, round over, grab the ball of your foot. If you're planning to kick out in the second set, maybe go ahead and do that. <laughs> Lift your chest, everyone. Keep those shoulders level. We're, I think we're about halfway. Bring that heel out towards the mirror if you're advancing on. But only as long as that standing leg stays straight. Everyone engage that standing leg. Engage that quad. Engage that hamstring. If you have that, that top leg is straight as well. It's parallel to the floor. No higher, no lower. Pull the toes back towards your head. Keep breathing, everyone shift the weight a tiny little bit forward into your toes here. Stand up a little bit taller, keep breathing. And change, release, reverse out. Other side, inhale your right left leg up. Thigh parallel, go ahead and get what you did on the other side. Really engage that standing leg here. Engage that quad, engage that hamstring. 
protect that knee. So you want your hip over your knee, over your ankle. You don't want to hyperextend that knee back. You want that leg stable and strong here. Steady breathing. Halfway, so go ahead and kick that leg out. If you're advancing, but stop wherever you need to. If your standing leg starts bending, then keep that top leg bent as well. Re-engage that standing leg. If your both legs are straight and strong, the top leg is parallel to the floor, and you're pulling those toes back towards your head. Shift the weight forward into your toes. In the five seconds here, keep holding it, keep that balance. And change, reverse out, stand tall, and breathe here, return to your breath. The second set is half the time, but really, don't rush into it too much. Make sure you get that foundation with that standing leg. Inhale your right leg up and go for it. Round over, maybe just try it out. Your standing leg is strong. Go ahead and maybe round over, maybe hover here. Maybe tap your foot, come back up. If you're advancing forward, go ahead and shift that. Get that heel out towards the front mirror. Both legs straight and strong, and bring your elbows down towards your calf muscles, maybe below your calf muscles. In the last part, then drop your forehead to your knee. Find your balance. Everyone find one point of focus, one unmoving point for balance and change. Reverse out. <laughs> and breathe. Left leg. Inhale that left leg up and go for it. Round over, grab the ball of your foot. All five fingers, re-engage that standing leg. Lift, up. ease that heel out towards the mirror. Pull back on your toes. Standing tall, elbows down to your calf muscles, maybe below them. Squeeze those elbows in. Shift the weight forward, your hips are level. Drop your forehead to your knee. And change, reverse out. Stand tall, relax your shoulders down and back. Breathe. All right, standing bow. Can add a back bend into it. So, right hand out to the side, drop it behind you, palm faces out. Bend your right knee and pick up your ankle from the inside. Now inhale your left arm up, lengthen up, chin to shoulder, engage your standing leg. Really lift your chest and lengthen up here. And then when you're ready to kick, you kick. Kick that right leg back and up. Really focus on this kick here first. You don't have to bring your upper body down immediately. Think about getting that thigh up. Getting that knee higher up. Pointing that toe to the lift up. Feel that opening in that right hip. Feel your back bending here. Feel your right shoulder getting pulled back. Your right arm is straight, your wrist is straight. You're halfway, so go ahead and bring your upper body down if you're ready. Hinge at your hips. Your arm will follow. Kick, reach, balance and breathe. One more place here. You're kicking and you're reaching opposite directions, equal strength. Keep going one more place. And change, come back up. Arm by your side and breathe. Other side. Left hand behind you, drop it back. Bend that left leg. Left knee, pick up the ankle from the inside. So try to bring those knees and those thighs back together here. And really open up your chest already here. Go to bring that left shoulder back if you like. Inhale your right arm up, lengthen up, chin up, engage your standing leg. Really lift up, lengthen up, and when you're ready to kick, you kick. Kick that left leg back and up. Think about getting that thigh up, that knee up. Point your toes straight up to the ceiling. Deep inhale breaths here, deep exhale breaths. Feel that back bend you're creating. Strong standing leg here. Feel that extension from fingertip to fingertip. You start to bring your upper body down. We're halfway. Keep balancing, everyone. Beautiful job. Keep it strong here. 
coming down. Maybe your abdomen is parallel to the floor. You're reaching in opposite directions here. You're kicking, you're reaching, you're balancing, you're breathing. You've got time to get back in. You've got 10 seconds out. Go for it. Kick, reach, balance, breathe. Three, two, and one, and change. Release. I'm always time to get back in it. Especially second set. It's only gonna be half the time, so maybe just go for it. Really, uh, you know, it's the forward movement and the backwards movement is all balancing itself out. The kick is really strong. The reach forward is really strong to keep you balanced on that one standing leg. But if you fall out of it, hey, just try it again. Figure out what worked. Figure out the balance eventually. All right, let's try one more time. Right palm behind you. Bend your right knee. Pick up your ankle from the inside. Really open up this right shoulder, this pex muscle. Go ahead and let that right shoulder come back behind your left. Knees together. Inhale, your left arm up. Just by the side of your head, reach up, lengthen up, and go. Kick your right leg back, 30 seconds. Keep breathing, kick, reach, balance, breathe. Feel an extension from fingertip to fingertip. Feel that chest opening up to the right side of the room. Bring that upper body down. Arm will follow. <laughs> you're kicking and you're reaching with equal strength. Opposite directions. Three, two, one, and chain. Release. Yeah, just try to end on one leg. Okay. okay. <laughs> oh, There's always one more second. <laughs> All right, left palm out. Drop it back. Pick up the ankle of your left foot. Inhale your right arm up, lengthen up. Lift your chest and go. Kick your leg back and up. Feel that left shoulder being pulled back behind the right. A little spine twist here. You go to bring that upper body down if you're ready. Now you're reaching towards the front mirror. Try to get that head level, try to get that chin to your shoulder. Point those fingertips. Relax that left arm, it's straight, your wrist is straight. Kick, reach, balance, breathe, one more place, and change, reverse out. Beautiful. Beautiful job, everyone. Super strong. All right, now step to the back of your mat. Balancing stick. Warrior three. Ten second posture. Do anything for ten seconds. Do it. Inhale, your arms up over your head. Interlace your fingers, release your index fingers. Lock out your arms by your ears. Straight line with your entire body. Right foot steps forward. Shift the weight forward. Point the left toes and go. Leg up, body down. Straight line. Look four feet in front of you on the floor. Your chest stays lifted. Your chin stays forward. And change. Step back, arms stay up. Other side, left foot steps forward, shift the weight, point the toes, and go. Leg up, body down, keep breathing. Look in front of you, keep that chest lifted, straight line from your fingertips to your toes, and change. Step back. Exhale, arms down by your side. I'm going to breathe. Return to your breaths. Breathe during the posture as well. Second set, inhale your arms up. Interlace your fingers, release your next leg. to lock out your arms by your ears, or you can keep your arms separated, or if you have any lower back issues, hands on your hips. Right foot steps forward. Shift the weight, point the toes, and go. Leg up, body down. Really engage every muscle in that left leg. Keep that left hip forward. Keep looking forward, reaching forward, engaging your spine, engaging your core. One more place and change. Step back. Left foot forward, shift the weight, point the toes, and go. Right leg engaged, point those toes, keep that right hip down. Keep looking forward, tone your belly, straight line, maybe you're parallel to the floor, making the letter T, and change. Step back, and exhale, arms down by your side. Breathe, feel that chest rising and falling. 
lowering your heart rate with those exhale breaths. All right, moving right along with separate leg stretching. This will bring your heart rate down. So come to one side of your mat. Okay. <laughs> Whatever side of your mat you'd like. So we have space to step out to the side. Inhale your arms up over your head. Lengthen up. Right foot steps out to the right. Big step. Arms down parallel to the floor. Shift the weight forward a little bit. Lift your chest. And now exhale. Swan dive forward. Leading with your chest. All the way down to the floor. We bring your hands out in front of you if you'd like. Keep that spine straight here. Feel that length. Feel this hamstring stretching, stretching all down the back side of your leg. Engage your quads to release those hamstrings. Belly in, core engaged to release that lower back. Make a little bit more space for you to go deeper here. Look straight down onto the floor between your toes. You're aiming to get your forehead to the floor, not the top of your head. Keep that spine straight. Keep breathing. Shift the weight a little bit into your toes here to get your hips over your ankles. You don't want to be falling back. Let gravity help you here. And change. Come on back up. Arms parallel. Inhale, come up. Hips forward. Inhale, look. Right arm hurts. Step your right foot back. Arms up. And exhale those arms down by your side and breathe. Second set. Inhale, arms up, palms touch, step on up to the right. You can adjust your step if you like. You make it wider, it will help you get your forehead to the floor shorter to challenge your flexibility. Inhale, chest up, lean back, exhale, swan dot forward. Breathe with that chest. Slide your hands down the back sides of your legs. Maybe grab your ankles, maybe grab the sides of your feet, maybe grab your heels here. You can bend your knees if you need to. Just slight bend. Think about pulling your upper body down towards the floor if you have that grip. Your elbows come back towards the back wall. Think about bringing your chest and your forehead down to the floor. Engage those quads. Shift the weight forward. Exhale, get a little bit deeper here. Calm, steady breathing. Let's stretch all along that back side of your leg here. Just enjoy the stretch. Nothing forced here. Pull down a little bit deeper. And change. Arms out parallel. Inhale, come up, hips forward. Step your feet back together, inhale, arms up. And exhale, arms down by your side. Standing tall, relax those shoulders down. Triangle. Inhale, arms up over your head, palms touch. Right foot step out, really big step this time. Arms down parallel, wrists over your ankles. Turn your right toes out to face the front wall. Turn your left toes in just a little bit. And now exhale, sit down into a deep lunge with your right leg. Hips down low, knee directly over your ankle, standing tall, strong warrior two, and now pivot, windmill your arms to the right. Right elbow to right knee, fingertips reach beyond those right toes, turn your gaze straight up, chin to shoulder, left arm reaches straight up. Lift and engage your upper body up. Your hips. Ground yourself down. Sit down a little lower. Both quads are strong here. Your hips are opening here. And change. Wiggle your arms back to center. Straighten your right leg. Right toes turn in. Left toes turn out. And now lunge down towards the left side. So your left side is parallel. Knee over ankle. Then tall and wiggle your arms to the left. Left elbow, left knee, fingertips reaching forward, your wrists are straight. Your right arm reaches straight up to the ceiling. Chin to shoulder, look up, gaze up. 
Think about bringing all that energy up as you just ground yourself down. Nice, strong foundation here with your legs. Keep breathing, engage your core, engage your obliques. And change when your arms back to parallel, then straighten your left leg, turn those left toes in. Inhale, your feet step back together, arms up. And exhale, those arms down by your side. Take a moment here to reset. Return your breath into big posture. Engage every muscle. Deep hip opener. We'll do it again. Inhale, arms up, palms touch. Right foot steps out to the right. Big step, arms down parallel. Turn those right toes out and go for it. So you bounce a couple of times, get down deep into that lunge here. Feel those hips opening and now windmill those arms. Left arm to reach straight up. Deep breathing, engage those obliques here. Do it on a you want a straight line from your armpit to your ankle here. And engage both of your quads. Use that right elbow. Push that right knee back to open up that right hip. Look back a little bit with your eyes and your upper body fingertips. Point a little bit to the left to give my spine twist here. Then change. Wing your arms parallel. Straighten that right leg. Right toes in, left toes out. And sit down left. Maybe bounce a couple of times, get nice and deep here, go and engage that left quad here. Then wiggle your arms to the left. Now find your balance and your strength here. Engage those quads. Push down into the mat with your heels. Reach your right left fingertips beyond those toes. Look straight up to the ceiling. Think about lifting your upper body up as your lower body grounds down. Push that left knee back. Look back to the right. Make a nice little spine twist here and then. Keep breathing. And change. Arms parallel. Straighten that left leg. Turn your toes in. Step your feet back together. Arms up. And exhale your arms down by your side. Strong postures, everyone. Inhale, arms up. Palms touch. The right foot steps out to the right again, but a smaller step this time, just a comfortable step. Now pivot on your heels to the right, facing straight forward again. And now bring that left hip forward a couple of times till it's square to the wall in front of you. And those heels are either one line or slightly separated. Now inhale, lengthen up, chest up, lean back, tuck your chin. And now let's roll it, round it. Exhale all the way down. Look at your belly button. Bend that right knee and bring that forehead to your knee. Fingertips to the top of the floor in front of you. On either side of your right foot. And just breathe into this posture here. Keep that forehead and knee contact. And push down with your fingertips to arch that spine up and get that extension in your spine here. Belly in, engage your core for balance. And then release that back. And change, arms in front of you, palms together, and inhale, roll up with control. Pivot left, pivot on your heels to the left, readjust your heels if you need to, shift that right foot forward a couple of times, inhale, lengthen up, tuck your chin, and now roll in, round and exhale, right hip forward, bend your left knee, bring your forehead to your knee, hands to the floor in front of you, and arch that spine up. Keep that compression here. Forehead to your knee. Your throat is choked. Compresses that thyroid gland, salivary glands. Your thyroid is great for your metabolism. Keep breathing. And change. Palms together. Thumbs crossed. Inhale, roll up. Find your strength. <laughs> Pivot on your heels to the right. Step your feet back together and exhale those arms down by your side. 
Yeah, that posture is super specific. It's a lot about control of your breath, control of your core, that balance. A lot of health benefits as well. Inhale, arms up, palms touch. Right foot steps out to the right, comfortable step. Adjust it again. If you like, you can test it out every time you practice, see what works for you. Now pivot to the right. Shift that right hip forward a couple of times. Inhale, lengthen up, lean back, tuck your chin and roll in, round and left hip stays forward. You want those hips square the entire time. Engage both quads, your left hip leg stays straight, your right leg bend to the right, to bring that forehead to the knee. And hand, keep those hands a prayer ready. Reach in front of you, palms together, thumbs across, and now you have to use your core to keep that balance. Breathing. The last part is pushing back on your knee with your core to start to that leg straight, get that hamstring, that's the leg stretch. Keep that progression and change. Slowly come up with control, keep that left hip forward, engage your core all the way up. Spine is straight, looking forward, pivot left, pivot to the left. Inhale, more time. Inhale, lengthen up, tuck that chin, get that compression and roll in. Right foot forward, right leg straight. Exhale all the way down with control. Bend that left leg, forehead to knee. Maybe keep those hands up here, reaching forward, use them for balance. Arch that spine up. Forehead to knee. Contract your core here. Maybe push that knee back with your forehead. And change. Slowly come up. Spine is straight. Pivot it right. Step your feet back together and exhale those arms down by your side, standing tall, relax your shoulders. And we're already on our final standing posture. So we're going to do two, two sets, tree and toe. All right, inhale your right leg up, rotate your right knee out, bring your foot into half lotus position on your left thigh and drop that knee down gently and keep that knee up if you like wherever you need to go never forcing it just gently let it drop down to open up that right hip here standing tall bring your right hand up to prayer maybe your left comes up as well maybe you just try it out and if that foot sweats you just grab it again ground yourself with that foot and change, reverse out, arms by your side. Other side, left leg up, rotate that knee out, put your foot, your right, left foot on your right thigh, half lotus position, grab that foot from behind by the toes, and let that hip gently open up here, nothing forced. Bring that left hand up to prayer, thumb on your sternum, right at your heart chakra. Standing tall, feel your chest lifting, feel yourself energizing through your feet. Maybe bring both hands up to prayer. And change, reverse out, into by your side. All right, second set, you're welcome to tree again, core advance into toe. Inhale your right leg up, place that foot, half lotus position, try to get that heel below your navel here, right to your midline, as high as you can. Drop that knee down, hand, right hand to prayer. And when you're ready, hinge forward. Find a spot on the floor, four feet in front of you for balance. Don't lose that spot. Bring your hands to the floor in front of you. Bend your knee, lift your heel. And then inhale, bring your hands back to your sides and bring them up to prayer. Lift your chest, spine is straight. Hover on the, the ball of that foot. Stop for whatever part of the sequence you need to. Find your balance and change. Reverse out, back into tree, and exhale, release. Other side, left leg up, place that foot onto your right thigh, 
open up that hip here, left hand up to prayer. You can stay right here if you're in tree. Just keep grounding yourself here, strong and stable like a tree. Open those hips or advance forward. Really fall into those hands if you're going into toe. Work on that hamstring flexibility and then walk yourself back. We find some unmoving point to help with your balance, everyone. It really helps your, your drishti, your gaze. And change from toe, back to tree. Release, relax. Stand tall, turn to your breath, and then release into the floor. Lie down for savasana. Short savasana here before we transition into the floor series. Lie down onto your backs. Take a moment for some awareness here. Feel your chest and your belly rising and falling with every inhale and exhale breath. Let those toes fall out. Some gratitude and appreciation for what your body's done for you already today. No criticism. Strong, able bodies. Inhale, right leg up. Interlace your fingers underneath your kneecap on top of your shin. And exhale, pull that knee down towards your shoulder, avoiding that rib cage. Squeeze it in tight to get that abdominal compression here. Your ascending colon here on your right side. Nice, tight grip. Feel that pinch in the hip, the pressure in the abdomen, and change. Release. Inhale, left leg up. Interlace your fingers, the top of that shin just below that kneecap, and exhale, pull that knee down towards your shoulder. That right leg straight, foot is flexed. Your left foot is completely relaxed. Your shoulders are relaxed. Tuck your chin slightly to look down your midline. Squeeze it in tight and change. Release. Third part, grab both legs. Hug your legs tight. Nice tight grip. Grab your forearms, your wrists, your fingertips, your opposite elbows, your shins. And pull your legs down towards your abdomen here. Squeeze it in tight, tight. Nice big hug of appreciation. You deserve it. Lengthen your breaths. Lengthen your spine. Roll that tailbone down and change. Release. Those toes fall out. Palms are up. Just breathe. Second set, inhale your right leg up. Get your grip and go for it. Pull that knee down. Feel that compression in your abdomen here. Maybe rotate, bring that knee in more towards your midline, or bring it out towards the side and then rotate it in. You can play around with your hips, feel, see what, play around with what feels good for you. Try to get that compression really in the abdomen. Open up your hip here. Elbows down. And change. Release. Other side. Left leg up. Get your grip and go for it. Pull it down. Into your abdomen here. Get your descending colon on this side. Maybe wiggle around a little bit. Bring that knee a little bit more out and rotate it back in. Nice, constant, steady pressure here. And change. Release. Inhale, both legs up. Grab opposite elbows, maybe slot the grip if you can remember it. And exhale, pull it all in. Think about pulling those legs down towards your lower abdomen here, getting compression along your transverse colon on this side. Your ankles are side by side, not crossing. Let the, that tailbone roll down and eventually get your lower spine, your tailbone on the floor. 
tuck your chin and keep your head down to try and get your neck flat on the floor one day the entire spine is flat on the floor and change release relax savasana All right, transitioning with the sit-up. If you have any injury or back's feeling some kind of way, you can always skip it. If not, squeeze your legs, flex your feet, low back down, engage your core, inhale your arms up over your head, and double exhale, come up, sit up, reach for your toes, slide to your knees, and turn around onto your bellies. For cobra. Start of our spine strengthening series. So come onto your bellies, palms on the mat, all five fingers together. Fingertips at your shoulder line. Elbows are in and up. Legs are together. Point your toes. Squeeze them together. Chin forward on the towel. And now inhale. Lift your upper body up. Chin up. Chest up. Look up. Use that lower back strength here. It's not a push-up. You can use your hands to pull your chest through your arms, though. Really rely on the upper back strength. Lift up. Look up. Change. Release. Look right. Hands by your side, palms are up. And just breathe here. Second set. Hands underneath your shoulders, fingertips at your shoulder line. Elbows in and up. Squeeze your legs together. And now inhale, lift your upper body up. Use that lower back strength. Squeeze your legs together, eyes up, chin up, chest up. Maybe your belly button comes up here in the end. Keep breathing, keep inhaling and change. Lower down, look to the left, arms by your side. And breathe. These belly down savasanas reset our spine between all of these spine strengthening postures. And we're moving right along, look at so, Put those palms down onto the mat. Chin forward. Lift your hips up. You can wiggle them back and forth a couple of times. Do your hands underneath your hips. Pinkies touch. Thumbs are out. Palms are still flat down like you're hitting a volleyball. Drop those hips down onto your hands. Shift the weight forward. Engage your right leg and lift it up. Point those toes. Engage every muscle in that right leg. Keep breathing. Stretch it back. Stretch it up. One more place. And change. Release that right leg. Shake it out. Left leg. Engage every muscle in that left leg and lift it up. Point those toes. Stretch it back. Stretch it up. Keep breathing. Lift it one more place. And change. Release. Third part. Both legs. So readjust your hands and arms closer together if you like. Broaden your chest and your shoulder blade on the floor. Shift the weight forward. Turn your mouth down on the towel to protect your neck. Squeeze those legs together. Get ready. Inhale and exhale. Lift those legs up, thighs up, off of your arms. Push those hands and those forearms and those fingertips down into the mat. Engage your belly. Lift your belly up off the mat. Lift those hips up. Keep breathing and change. Release. Put your arms out to the side. Look to the right. Your left ear is on the towel and just breathe. That posture. <laughs> First set is done. <laughs> do it just one more time. <laughs> We're just going to do the third set this time. So let's get ready and go for it. Flip those hands down. Lift those hips up. Bring your pinkies to touch underneath your body. Lower those hips down onto your hands. Mouth down on the mat to protect your neck. And go ahead and gear up for it. I'm going to try to get the shoulders on the mat, that chest on the mat. Shift the weight forward. Engage your legs. Squeeze them together. Inhale and exhale. Lift those hips up. Lift your abs up. Engage your core here. Squeeze those legs together. Point the toes. Push down through your hands. Down to your forearm, shift the weight forward, balancing on your chest here. Keep breathing and change. Release. Arms out. Look to the left and let it go. We go from 
100% work to 100% relaxation for every posture here. Full locus, time to fly. Arms out like airplane wings in line with your shoulders. Legs together, arms and legs are strong. Inhale, lift everything up. Legs up, thighs up, chin up, chest up, look up, look where you want to fly. Your arms are strong, in line with your shoulders, you're balancing on your belly. Lift that lower body up, lift your upper body up, keep breathing and change. Release, look right, bring your arms down by your side, and turn to your breath. Second set. Arms out like airplane wings. Think about where you want to fly, where you want to go when everything's open, what vacation you want to take when we can. Squeeze those legs together. Point those toes. Engage your biceps and triceps. And now inhale. Lift your chest up. Fill those lungs up. If your chest leads where you want to go, look where you're going. Balancing on your belly here. Lift those thighs up. Lift those legs up. Lift that chest up and change. Release, flip left, release all the way. Feel that back rising and falling. We're going to put it all together with our floor bow. Our full back bend on the floor, balancing on our belly. So, bring your chin forward, bend both knees, and grab your ankles from the outside. Wrists are straight, arms are straight, your shoulders and your chest are relaxed. Looking forward, now inhale, lift your knees up, thighs up, kick up, point your toes straight up, and then it allows your chest to lift up. It pulls your shoulders and your arms back. Look up, eyes up, chin up, chest up. Look to where you're eventually going to see your toes coming up above your head. Keep breathing. Keep kicking, strong kick, strong spine here. Knees up one more inch and change. Release, look right, and breathe. Second set, bend those knees, grab those ankles, and try to keep your knees and thighs close together in the beginning if they go really wide during the posture. Ideally, your knees, your ankles, your shoulders, and your hips are all the same distance apart the entire time. Now inhale, kick. Kick those knees up, thighs up. Lift your upper body up. The kick drives the posture here. It pulls your upper body up, but your chest pulling through your arm. Your arms are straight, they're relaxed. Shoulders are relaxed. The kick is driving the posture. Knees closer together, point those toes straight up. So the upper back bending, keep breathing here. Keep going. You got this. One more place. Lifting up and change. Release. Look to the left. And let that back rise and fall. And bring your hands underneath your shoulders. One little push up here if you like. Back in the down dog, come into child's pose if you like to shake it out real quick. Then we'll come to the top of our mat to fix firm and open up our knees and our ankles here. So go ahead and sit down in between your heels. So try to get your hips in between your feet. Try to sit that bottom flat on the mat. If your ankles are really tight and they hurt, just lean forward and work on that for now. If your knees are hurting, Separate your knees wider, and just work on that for now. If you're ready to start going back, you bring one hand to your foot, one at a time, then drop back one elbow at a time. Lift your chest up, drop your head back, and then slowly separate your elbows to get to the top of your head and your shoulders to touch, tuck your chin, Grab opposite elbows over your head, lift your chest, and breathe here. 
And be happy with wherever you are, whatever part of this posture. It's definitely a sequential posture. One step to the next, slowly opening up the joints of your body, opening up your front side. Feel that ankle, that knee, that thigh. Up through your chest, opening your shoulder blades. Maybe bring those knees back together eventually, then the knees stay down on the floor and change. Bring your hands one at a time to your feet and slowly come up. Keep the head hanging back. Come up one elbow at a time, one hand at a time. Bring your hands out in front of you, shake up those legs and turn around, lie down for a quick savasana. All right, got to sit up. Moving right along to our animal series. Inhale, arms up over your head. Flex your feet, low back down. Inhale, and double exhale. Come up, sit up. Reach through your toes. Let's roll over to come up to your knees and heels. We're going to start with half tortoise, extending our spine. Inhale, arms up over your head. Palms touch. Cross your thumbs, arms by your ears. Inhale, lengthen up, straight spine. Exhale, hinge forward. Engage your core, squeeze those legs together as slow as you need to go. Forehead touches, baby fingers touch, and relax into this here. Don't completely let go though. Reach those arms forward. You want your wrists up off the mat, just your pinky, edges of your pinky fingers touch. Your arms are still by your ears. Relax that head down and get your forehead to touch. It is touching, you can bring your chin away from your chest to try to get that nose to touch as well. Reaching your arms forward as you're relaxing your hips back and change. Inhale, come up. Exhale, arms down by your side. Come up onto your knees and heels for camp. Go to back bend here. So knees and heels hip width apart. Hands to your lower back. Fingertips down, pinkies are out. Elbows together, open up that chest, drop that head back, relax it all the way, shift those hips forward, lift your chest, feel that upper back bend. And if you're ready, keep going back, look towards the back wall, bring one hand at a time to your ankles, to your heels. Try not to twist when you grab them. Give a nice tight grip, pull on your heels as you lift your chest up. Everyone, shift your stomach, hips, your thighs forward. Lifting that chest, feeling beautiful back bend here. Change, bring your hands to your lower back, slowly come up with control. Bring your knees and feet back together, sit down on your heels. Grab it. Bring your hands behind you, towards your ankles. Inhale, lengthen up, lean back, tuck your chin, roll in, round in, exhale. Forehead to your knees, top of the head to the floor, and then lift those hips up. Arms are straight, nice tight grip on your heels here, pulling on your heels, shoulders up, arms are straight, lift those hips up and forward, belly in, and change, slowly roll up, round up. Looking forward, spine is straight, turn around, lie down for quick sabasana. Breathe. Can you bring your knees up and touching and your feet a little further out if that helps. Feels good on your lower back here if you like. Alright, let's do another sit up. Legs are straight, flex your feet, low back down, engage your core, inhale your arms up over your head, and double exhale, come up, sit up, reach for those toes, and come back on your heels, and knees, second set, half towards, we're going to extend and lengthen our spine, inhale your arms up, palms touch, just cross your thumbs, arms are straight, maybe behind your ears, Lengthen up, exhale, hinge forward, engage those lower abdominals here, looking forward, forehead touches, baby fingers touch, reaching forward, sitting back, creating space between your vertebrae here, 
roll your shoulders, those armpits down towards the floor to open up your scapula, open up those shoulder blades here. And change. Inhale, come up. Exhale, arms down by your side. Second set, camel. Come on up. Take it easy here. Your head was on the floor and now it's all the way up. If you're a little lightheaded, take it easy. Arms behind you on your lower back. Fingertips down, thumbs are out. Inhale, lengthen up. Exhale, drop your head back, lean back, go back, look towards the back wall. Shift your stomach, hips and thighs forward. Keep breathing. Keep breathing, bring your hands back to your back to your heels if you can. Lift your chest, feel that extension all along your front side body, your thighs, your stomach, opening your throat, opening your heart here. One more place and change. Hands back to your lower back, slowly come up with control. Knees and heels back together, sit down. All right, grab it, hands to your heels. Inhale, lengthen up. Exhale, tuck your chin, roll in, round in. Exhale, all the way, belly button in. Forward into your knees, top of the head to the floor. Good grip on your heels. And now lift those hips up. Push down through your knees. Engage your belly. Lift those hips. Elbows up to or shoulders up towards the ceiling. Elbows are straight. Keep pulling on that grip. Keep lifting those hips, shifting them forward. Feel a spine lengthening here and change. Slowly roll up. Look up, spine is straight. Turn around, lie down, or Svasana. Hold, stretch here. We just had our deepest back bend, our deepest forward bend. Now we're gonna stretch it all out. With some separate leg stretching, some twisting. But not before another sit up. Flex those feet, engage those legs, low back down, engage that core. Inhale, arms up over your head and double exhale, come up, sit up. Reach for those toes. And that's swivel on your bottom for separate leg stretching. Your right leg is out. Your left leg is bent, left sole of the foot on the right inner thigh. Inhale, arms up, lengthen up, rotate over that right leg and exhale, round forward. Bring that forehead to your knee, bend your knee if you need to, grab the ball of your foot, pull those toes back towards your head, feel like Achilles tendon stretching it. Relax those shoulders and those elbows down. Try to get that forehead to be contact. Use that forehead to push that knee down. Eventually your leg will be straight. Pull those toes back towards your head. Eventually that hand will come out across the mat. Breathe and change. Slowly come up, swap your legs. Left leg forward, right knee bent, right sole of the foot on the left inner thigh. Rotate over that left leg, lengthen up, exhale, roll forward. Bend that left knee, grab the ball of your foot. And enjoy the stretch here, other side, all along that back side leg here. Your hamstring, your calf, your Achilles tendon, pull those toes towards your head. Shoulders and elbows down. Try to get those shoulders even. Maybe shift the weight around your hips a little bit to get those even. Your belly is in. Push down on your knees. And change. Inhale, come up. Both legs out. Slowly lie back. As soon as you hit the floor, double exhale. Come up. Sit up. Reach for those toes. Grab those big toes of your peace sign fingers. And bend your knees as much as you need to and try to get that compression of the upper body on the lower body. Your chest is on your knees, your stomach is on your thighs, and now shift those hips back, right, left, right, left. And so maybe your legs are straight. Maybe you keep that compression and work on that back extension here. Inhale, lengthen up, chest forward, 
exhale, stretch forward, pull those toes back. Think about pulling those pinky toes back as well. So your foot is flat, like it's standing on the wall in front of you. Inhale, lengthen up, exhale, lengthen forward, stretch forward. Keep breathing into this here. Elbows down, and your head comes down. And change. Inhale, come back up. Shake out those legs. We're going to go right into spine twist. So you can bend that right leg up over your left knee corner. Keep that leg straight if you'd like, or bend that left knee as well. But don't sit on that right foot. You can readjust your hips again. Make sure they're flat on the floor. Your right foot is flat on the floor as well. Your right hand is behind you, right by your lower back. Push down through the hand to lift your chest and straighten your spine. Inhale, your left arm up over and around, grab that left knee corner, ankle, knee, hand touch. Inhale, lengthen up, exhale, look back. Turn your chin over that right shoulder here. Look up, look back, and twist. You bring your hand to your lower back, or grab that inner left thigh if you like. Lift up. Look back. Twist. And change on one other side bend that right knee out in front of you or keep it straight left foot over that right knee corner adjust your hips flat on the floor bring your left hand behind you lift your chest inhale your right arm up over and around grab that left knee hand knee and ankle touch inhale lengthen up push down with that hand exhale twist turn your chest towards that back wall turn your head over that left shoulder your lower back, your middle back, your upper back, and your neck are all twisting. Inhale, lengthen up. Exhale, twist. One more place. And change. Turn around, lie down. One last spot right here. I'll do one more sit up. Engage that core for that final breathing. Engage your legs, flex your feet, low back down. Inhale, arms up, and double exhale, come up, sit up. Reach for those toes. Come around up into a comfortable seated position on your knees and your heels or cross-legged, however you would like for our final breathing. Only exhale breaths, inhales happen automatically. Bring your hands on your feet, relax your arms, lift your chest, relax those shoulders down. Swallow a couple times, and let's begin. Exhale, 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 exhale. release here. Don't forget about this final posture or final savasana when you return to your breath, return to your awareness of those physical sensations running through your body. Now feel how differently you feel, how exhausted your muscles are, how deeply relaxed your entire body is. Just accept it. And go with it. So enjoy your final savasana here for however long you would like. We thank you so much for joining us again for another one of these live stream classes. Hope all is well. Can't wait to see you all soon. Namaste.